You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Yes, sir. T Grizzly. Ah. What what's up, the, though? What's the word? What's up, my brother? You about to drop your second album? Yeah, man. This is really the first album, though. First one? Really? Was, yeah, first oh, one. Oh, because the first one was considered a mixtape. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. always confuses me. Yeah. Because it'd be full bodies of work with, with original production. Mm -hmm. So how do you know the difference between an album and a mixtape when you're recording? I mean, today, it, it really just like, your mixtape is what you have fun on, what you experiment on, and you see what they take to the most. Mm -hmm. And whichever one you see it like the most, that's what you throw out on your album. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think. All right. You know, everybody might look at it different, though. Now, are you off of probation? No, I get off parole in October. For October. The reason I say that is I'm looking on the thing years. with Meek. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, look at this. He got arrested for uh, armed robbery mm -hmm. in jewelry store. Got two years. Meek got 10 years over time, over time, over time, over time, over time, over time. Yeah, but Meek, was, he had the big charge, and then he was violating. So was it's violated. not like he just got 10 years for the for the first Did that make you nervous at all with, with your probation? I, I got to make sure I don't do nothing. I mean, no, it's, it's definitely a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. Because you know what I'm saying Like when I I had did three years And they gave me 24 months parole And anything I do Them 24 months Is reinstated You know what I'm saying And this can go on For 15 years You know what I'm saying So when I saw that It was just a wake up call Stay out them people way mm -hmm. That's what happened to me I had 10 years probation Envy was on 10 years probation mm -hmm. too Man, They giving out 10s over here well, Like no, that well, I, I, was I, I was in South Carolina But it was the same thing I had like 2-3 years But whenever you get in trouble yeah. They just reinstated Reinstated yeah. Reinstated 2-10 to 10, that You had to be having that tail That back end you was a, so you was like a robber for real, huh? Yeah, that's all I could do though for real. For real? <laughs> that's all I could do because I ain't know how to hustle, and I'm too I was too lazy to do some scams. I, like I ain't got the patience for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just take what somebody else make. But you you went to college too though, right? Yeah, yeah. So you ain't no dummy at all. No, but I was just broke. I was trying to do stuff. It was a lot of females up there. <laughs> I was trying to go do internships. I needed some pay. I needed some money. But could you imagine T Grizzly running in the jewelry store and running out and them not finding him and catching him? Man. No, they found him, didn't they? No, they caught me in they there. Caught him in the they store. called me listen, a customer had pulled out a gun, he had a CCW. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, you ain't got nothing to do with this. This ain't you ain't <laughs> <laughs> You ain't even paying for this. I'll give you a watch. Let me get out of here. <laughs> Damn. So so let me I wanna go back to the school thing. So you was in school, you was stealing uh computers, right? I was I was breaking in dorm rooms. Okay. And like laptops, iPhones, money, all that type of stuff. Damn it, man. So you stole like twenty thousand dollars worth of items? Yeah, yeah. And that's and that you got kicked out because of that. Yeah, I, I was listen, I you was You got caught doing that too? No, somebody told on me doing that. So you got caught. That means I got caught. <laughs> somebody else got caught and okay. told on me. I would have got away. Yeah. But listen, I had I ain't never had over like literally eight hundred dollars. I started breaking the rooms. I made like ten thousand in two days. But you would pawn the stuff? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I was going. I was going to sell it. Going okay. back to the gas stations in the city and selling it and all that. I could have stopped for real, but I was just so. So easy. it was coming so quick. I'm like, I can't believe this. So have you stopped your uh, kleptomaniac ways? Are you yeah, I have. <laughs> I changed my ways. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I I do something right now that a lot of people wouldn't believe. You know what I'm saying? To keep me humble and to keep me like grounded. What is that? I work at Home Depot. You don't huh? work at no damn Home Depot. I work at Home Depot in my city. W what hours do you work at Home Depot? What do you do at Home Depot? What I do, I help people like take the stuff outside that they buy. You know what I'm saying? I help put like refrigerators together in there. No, I'm talking shit. I'm about to say, I'm about to say, get the fuck out of here. You in the studio, you doing shows. I'm like, I'm like, I ain't nobody got you on video doing that yet. No, I'm talking. <laughs> now, have you adjusted from the streets to the, the industry yet? I have. It'd be so hard, though, because everybody I know, like all my family and everybody who I'm cool and hang with is in the streets. Mm -hmm. Ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really made no real industry friends that I just be with like that. You know what I'm saying? Besides, you know, I rock with Dirk, Yachty Heavy, mm -hmm. a couple other people. But, like, my day-to-day -day base people I be with, these are all people who struggling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it be kind of hard. I like being around that, though, because it keep me who I am. You know what I'm saying? The conversations we have, the ideas, and, like, the like the energy and the vibe is just be, man, we got to do way more. There's way more work to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that keep me grounded. You know what I'm saying? After a while, that going to get stressful, though. Cause they gonna see you coming they around in your, in your Gucci outfits and your yeah. jewelry and like, yeah, I don't wear this around them. Oh, I don't wear this around them. I go over there, dog, and fits Nikes. <laughs> see, I'm waiting on my, I'm waiting to get my money from the label. That's why I tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't get my money yet. They already, yeah. I'm sure they already trying to get in your pockets now, though. Yeah, definitely, man. I done had people ask me for some crazy stuff. Like what? 
120000 God damn. One 20, person 20, asked me for that. i would never forget that. For a house. For what? I don't even know what the fuck. They like, at least you know I'll be set for life. Like, I don't care if you set for I never said I cared if you were set for life. <laughs> and I had a barber. This was a new barber I had. I only knew the dude for like, he only come out here for like two weeks. Mm-hmm. He turned around and asked me for like 15000 So my They trying to take his house. So I said, man, I make sure you ain't never had to pay for another haircut. Like, man, my grandkids ain't gonna have to pay for no haircut. <laughs> God, damn. Jeez. So how do you how do you handle that? Like, I'm, cause I'm sure it's some request you hear that you may grant. Like you like you know. Yeah, what? it's it's some request, but it got to be within reason. Like right. it got to be it got to be real reasonable, and I gotta really like you. Mm-hmm. I gotta feel a certain type of way about you. Other than that, as soon as you ask me, I'm not even talking to you no more. And you knew. I mean, you getting your money, but it, you you still growing. Yeah. I guess they see Jay-Z shot in your yard, they feel like you got Jay-Z money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what, I don't know what it is. What's the biggest challenge you faced in the industry so far? In the industry? Yeah. The biggest challenge is, um, um, I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I'm so focused and so much of a critical thinker, and I do a lot of praying, you know what I'm saying? So the only challenge is me having discipline and me doing what I know I need to do. Mm. You feel me? It all start here, cause nothing is hard as long as you do it. I can reach out to people, you know what I'm saying, and do what I need to do. You know, if I want a song, a feature, I know who to reach out to. You know what I'm saying? I want to start a book. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Reach out to you, your peoples. Come up here, Bravery Club, Highlight Envy. I could do whatever. It's just I gotta dis- be had the discipline to do it. All right. Do you Actually, follow the success through. Success of a first day out since it was so big. Um, it was too, but. I feel like I feel like I could be I could I could do something bigger. Mm. I feel like I could do something bigger. And now that was a freestyle, right? Because it was no hook or nothing. Did you expect it to get that big? Did you expect I didn't, me to support it? Man, listen, I thought that was just gonna be some like Detroit stuff. Cause you know that was the Detroit sound. That don't usually make it out of Detroit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So when that blew up, it was like magic. That was like seeing magic. Mm-hmm. You know. So that was crazy. But yeah, it was. I it wasn't no freestyle. I wrote it when I was locked up. I just didn't write no hook. That shouldn't have been hard to duplicate, though, because it's a real record. Mm-hmm. All you got to do is r- continue to rap about real shit. Yeah, continue to rap about real stuff. You put Meek on there, you jinx Meek, man. Why you say that? Meek, Meek went in <laughs> right after he did the remix, oh, it yeah. seemed like. But he got out after I dropped it, though, so I really oh, like... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was the first time. You know what I'm saying? And what, what was your major when you was in college? Finance and accounting. So you good with your money, then? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I try to be. I was good. I thought I was. I knew, I knew how to be good with money when I was broke, but when I actually got it, it's like... You know, when you ain't never had nothing, you, you can't just get nobody a whole bunch of money. You know, right. what's, what's the most you ever got at one time? One lump sum? A million. God damn, for what? I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no million dollar check yet. That's the mo- That's the biggest check I ever got. Oh, no, I did. Oh, never mind. Well, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, what, what, what'd you do with it? I put it up. I put half of it up. And the other half for taxes? IRS. The other, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, that's smart. Yeah, so that's you smart. learned that in school? You knew that before you... uh. No, I got my, my, my auntie like in the business world and know about that money stuff. Okay. So she told me off the rip, this is what you need to do. I'll tell you that now. What's the craziest thing you bought so far with with, with the money you made? <clears throat> um, a Bentley truck. You bought a Bentley truck? Yeah. I wanted that. I saw Meek with it, I wanted it. You know? That's how it go though. That's why that's why I be buying jewelry and like showing money and stuff like that. Cause like in my neighborhood, you show somebody a gun, they gonna wanna go get one. You see somebody smoking weed, they gonna wanna smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna show people some money, and you know what I'm saying, the better stuff in life. And hopefully they follow behind that too. The Bentley truck's way more affordable than some weed and a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean the weed and the gun is way more affordable yeah. than the Bentley truck, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's much easier to get. Well, it make you want it though, so it, I, I just want you to want it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want you to want it. Mm-hmm. Now, how, how um, do you think Detroit is being represented properly in hip hop? Um, It depends on who you speak on when you say who represented it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because if you say Eminem representing it, I don't really know because he's not even in tune or really with the local Detroit. Big Sean is like he mess he mess with the city he mess with the city, but he do him too though. Dage, I don't know what Dage doing. I ain't heard from her. I, you know I don't know what's going on with that. But me, I'm out there. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying like You're out active. there, active right. in the streets in the community. In a, in, on a bad and a good side. You know what I'm saying? And every hood in my city, like all the street dudes, you know what I'm saying? When I get to the city, I go holler at them, try to make sure everybody's straight, try to keep everything cool. Then I go to the schools. Mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? I went to one of the worst schools in Detroit and made it to Michigan State. So I go to the worst schools and some of the good schools and be like, y'all, it's really no excuse mm-hmm. for y'all not to do something because I did it. Now, how'd you, how'd you uh, gravitate out of that or transcend out of that worst school? Um, Really just having a good relationship with my teachers mm-hmm. and principal. You know, my me and my teachers was cool, so they'd be like on me. And I ain't want to let them down. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't be cool with this teacher. And this teacher going to give me lunch and ask me, do I need a ride home and all that stuff? And I come in there and not do the work. You know? Yeah. And they help you with it. Like, stay after. I'll show you how to do all that. Whatever you're having problems with, just stay after and I got you. So what made you want to go to college? I really ain't had no choice for it. Like, they really, like, did it for me. Like, okay, I told you I did got all my work done, so my grades was good. Boom, it was time to take the ACT. I got, like, a 24 on the ACT. That's good. That was that was the highest in the school, okay. in my school. But the 36 is the 36 highest. 36 is the highest, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they like, um, it's college day. They make all the students apply to some colleges. So we just going through the motions. I ended up getting accepted to state. And that's the only college I applied for. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's the only one I applied so for. So when, when did you start rapping? Was it in high school or was it in college? I started rapping in high school. But I ain't started taking it this serious till it was all I had. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When I went to prison. That's that's where I got the name activated from. My album when I was in prison. I told myself like, when I get out there, I'm gonna put my all into this. You know what I'm saying? When I finally come home, that's gonna be my moment mm-hmm. to like show people. You know, and if I ever blow up, if I ever become famous, ever get a good fan base, ever get some real money off this stuff, I'm gonna be activated. That's what I'm gonna call my next project. Did you go to prison? You went to prison because of those two uh, charges, right? Mm-hmm. You didn't have like a good lawyer that could have could have. Uh-huh. That's, that's, that seemed like it was your first offense, wasn't it? Yeah, it was my first. It was my first offense, but it's so crazy because, like, okay, boom, the Michigan stuff popped off. I had a warrant. They threw a warrant out. I'm like, okay, I went to Kentucky, went on the run in Kentucky, did the jury stuff thing. They locked me up. So Kentucky can't say it's my first offense because I got a warrant up here. Mm. And then when I finally get back there, you can't say it's my first offense because I a convicted felon mm-hmm. down there. So. Are you allowed back in Kentucky? Can you perform in Kentucky? Not in Lexington. Not in Lexington. Not in Lexington. There's no way around it. Nope. No. And I, after October, I can go. After October, you can go. Yeah. Did you have a real lawyer or a public defender? I had a public defender. But this ah, is the crazy part about burnt. it, though. No, look, this is the crazy part. Kyle Foles get cooked. But we all had, um, ain't, none of us had no lawyers. Mm-hmm. You know? So the pro bono that I got was actually a good lawyer. Like, he was a paid lawyer. Like, mm-hmm. he charged people 10 to look at their case. And that was who they gave me. I mean, I think he did pretty good, man. A jewelry store with an armed robbery in a jewelry store? That was pretty good, bro. How much you ended up getting? Like, I got five years, 15%. Man, that's a long time for a kid he coming out of years. college, man. That's a long time. How old was you? I was 19. Sheet. Armed robbery, jewelry store. You hey, know how many man. cases, how many charges? My first charge was assault and battery with intent to kill. Okay? And how long yeah. you get? I was I did like 60 days in the county and got probation. What? <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Pay yeah, lawyer, baby. Yeah, lawyer. <laughs> yeah, that lawyer. That lawyer. You might need that. I might need that lawyer. <laughs> Damn. Now, since you went to college, you, I'm sure you had other dreams and aspirations outside of hip hop, right? I, I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to box for a minute. I was boxing for a minute. I was playing football for a minute. And then, like, what happened? My boxing coach quit messing with me because I was, um, I didn't try to fight him. <laughs> That's the uh, point, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, the point of a boxing coach, isn't it? The football oh, thing. Oh, football coach. Okay, okay. No, no, I try to fight my boxing coach. Okay. The football thing, I wasn't really taking that too serious in high school because it wasn't it wasn't cool, so I mm-hmm. ain't do it. You know what I'm saying? I wish I would have. Well, I'm good now. So. But they had you on the line. I'm... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I did the finance and accounting thing. I always went for stuff because I always knew I wanted to make some money. Mm-hmm. You know, I always wanted to live like a certain type of lifestyle. So what about now? I know you, you, you want to do other things. Right now, I want to shoot a movie, man. I want to shoot a Get Rich or Die Trying type movie. I feel like me and 50 got similar stories. Went through the struggle, went to prison, came home, and did some stuff that people, everybody say they going to do, but it never happened. Yeah, they haven't really shown us Detroit. I mean, we saw 8 Mile, we saw that movie Detroit, but we ain't never seen, like... You got to see that real Detroit. Yeah. That real Detroit is crazy. And how did you get the name T. Grizzly? I got it when I was in there. In jail? Yeah, they was just calling me Grizzly, though. They weren't calling me T-Grizzly. Like Grizzly Bear? Yeah. That's kind of a weird name to have in prison, man. <laughs> no, because, I mean, you aggressive. You oh, big. Yeah, yeah. So you aggressive. Had to, you had to fight and stuff when you was in there? Yeah. First day in there, I had to fight. 
Yeah, because you was a kid, so they mm-hmm. test you. Mm-hmm. What happened? I'm 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 rapping, making beats on a thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. And this one dude, like, it's six in the morning though. This one nigga, like, nigga, stop knocking on the fucking bed, nigga. I'm trying to sleep. I ain't. Even, I'm so shocked. Like, this is my first. Like, this is my second day in here. I'm so shocked that somebody said this to me. You feel me? And everybody get to waking up, like, Uh-oh. seeing what I'm about to say. Bye-bye. So I'm like. Shit, you feel the type of way? What you, what you want to do? His mans hop up. Man, we about to stump this nigga out. I'm like, damn, I'm about to fight both of these niggas. So they both hop up. The one nigga who up, no, his mans who hopped up, he really scared for real. Because mm. he wasn't even running up on me. I'm really fighting his mans by myself, and I'm really like turning around looking to see what he going to do. He ain't even running up. So after I get on his mans, I get on him. And after that, I ain't had no more problems. That was it. That was you didn't it. You know you was down to scrap? Yeah. That had to be a culture shock, though, going from college to jail. It was. I got a college ID, prison ID, same year. Damn. Mm. You never wanted to go back to school when you got out? Man, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I was so embarrassed, though, to tell people I went to college in there. You know, you got niggas in there that ain't finished high school. Mm-hmm. They looking at me like, nigga, you went to college? What the fuck is you doing? What's, what's, what's the problem? Jesus Christ, we got to do better in our community. <laughs> <laughs> you had to tell damn, you the college, right? Jesus Christ. We, all, everybody in jail, how they, they going to judge you? Man, I was so ashamed when I used to see Michigan State playing football. I used to have dreams. I was still there. Like, damn, though, I was in college. That's the worst when you be in jail dreaming that you home. And then you and wake, wake up. up in that motherfucker. Oh, oh my God, that's the worst. I had so many dreams like that. When I first came home, I talked to Meek the other day. He told us he had the same thing I had. He said, when I first came, I was scared to go to sleep. Mm. He, didn't, he didn't want to make, make sure it wasn't a dream. <laughs> yeah. He stuck in there. Oh, that's why he said he ain't slept yet. Yeah. Okay, okay, I saw him say that. He like, nah, I'm, stay, I'm staying up. I won't get back in there. For real, that shit for real. Now let's talk about your album. What, what was your, your 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 mindset for this album, since this is your first release? I ain't gonna lie, I had a lot of fun on this one. Mm-hmm. You know, my first, my first project of my moment, you know, I was in prison, rapping about what I was going through and stuff like that. But on this, on this activated, I feel like when I say I'm activated, that mean I'm finally powered up like how I want to be. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got a, I got a couple dollars living the life I want to live. I can do the stuff I want to do. Help the people who I really want to help. I feel like I'm activated. I can do that. You know? So I really had a lot of fun on this album. Really told people what's going on now. And all my music, I tell people what's going on with me. Like first day out. This is the story. It's what happened. Not today. It's just like. I'm just walking y'all through these different chapters of my success, mm-hmm. you know? Well, your life changed dramatically. I see you on private jets now flying. Yeah, man. You on the PJs? Yeah. I, I don't, ain't going to do that too much. Don't try to follow me with that now. No, I ain't <laughs> trying to do that. <laughs> your PJs cost now. I ain't doing that too much. You know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm loyal to Delta. <laughs> there you go. I don't care how much money I get, you know, because them PJs, I, I heard about people going broke off them PJs. Where'd you fly to on the PJ? Did... Well, he left uh, here. Remember when he had the, uh, we had Powerhouse? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I had to get him here? Yeah. Oh, so you paid for the PJ? All right, well, part of it, yes. So listen, I had a show in, Con- where I had a show at? D.C.? I had a show I in D.C. D.C., D.C. I had a show here in D.C. the same night. So that's how that went. How much that cost? I don't know. I don't pay attention to it. I just. Shit, that's how you go broke, not paying attention <laughs> to it. Right no, there. no, because. But he came, let me tell you what happened. You know, Fetty Wap was supposed to come do the show, but Fetty Wap, his flight got canceled and couldn't make it from L.A. So I had to call everybody I possibly could mm-hmm. to see if they would do it. And he was close. And he was like, I can, but I got a show that night. I would literally have to fly in and fly right out. So yeah. I don't know if he ran on stage, did three songs, and turned around and ran back off stage and right back to the jet. That's how I had to happen. Never said no. Never said, I don't know if I can make it. Jumped on that jet and said, E, I'm there. You had to get that bag. There was no bag for me. There was no bag. <laughs> I'm talking about him to oh, go yo, back to back. D.C. Oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah, so for the love that night. those people that be like, you know, LeBron was on the line listening to your music or Jay Z shouting you out. Have you had any conversations with them? Um, I had a conversation with Brian. Okay. You know, he had played in Detroit. I had went to the game. We had talked it up after the game. He a cool nigga. Um, Jay Z, I ain't kicked it with Jay Z yet, but I'm looking forward to it though. Any what, any words of advice Brian gave you? Um, shit, just keep going. He said he the one. He said the music shit, man. The way I look at it is like a workout. Anything you doing, any grind is like a workout. If you ain't consistent, if you ain't going hard at it, you ain't gonna see no results. Right. Can't play with it. And that's how you treat the studio? Yeah. You in every night? I ain't in every night, but I'm writing every day though. Got you. You know. What about the women, man? That's gonna that's another big distraction. Mm-hmm. It ain't really a distraction for me because I know they roll. You feel me? I'm I only got one agenda with them and it's over after that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's it. That's it. Do they know that? 
Yeah, they know it. You making them sign anything nowadays? Little NDAs or just? I ain't got none of them. That's the scariest part, man. Especially being young and having money. What can happen if you don't make them? What, what, can, what can happen if you don't make them sign that though? They can say all kind of stuff. They can, you can get me too out this motherfucker. Times yeah. up movement, all kind of crazy stuff. I don't think nobody gonna play with me like that. Shit. Bill Cosby thought the same yeah. thing. Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby was a little different. Though. The thing about Bill Cosby is different. I mean, they ain't making it to court. <laughs> <laughs> they get knocked off. Man, man. stop that. Right, right, no, no. <laughs> that's exactly what we trying to avoid. All right. No. right there, T. Hell Grizzly. no. How about <laughs> May 11th? You, you lie trying to say, I tried to rape you, you get knocked off. Stop, Activate. man. That's <laughs> worse. You can't, you can't kill him. <laughs> T. Grizzly, we appreciate you for joining us, bro. For sure. It's on, man. I appreciate y'all for having me. Yes, man. sir. Hey, Mr. Breakfast Club, good morning. 